Hey everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. I've been getting a lot of questions about this little icon right here when you try to unzip a file and open up SVG files. So I'm going to go through a few different ways on how to do this. I will be pausing the video and coming back to go through and show a few different ways of how to accomplish this. And the first thing we're going to go through is when it defaults to an Internet Explorer um, icon next to your SVG document and how to open that with Silhouette Studio. The next one we'll go through is um, the Google Chrome icon and I'll open that up with Inkscape and you basically use the same process and then I'll show you how to do this with um, Design Space as well. So here we go. You see your SVG document in here after you have unzipped your folder and it is showing as an SVG document but you have this icon here. So when you double click it, it will actually open up in the internet which you can't work with. So that kind of defeats the purpose, right? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over and right click and you're going to scroll down and go to open with and you can see here that Silhouette Studio does not show up on here. So you're going to go to choose another application. Now I already have this in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on more apps because more than likely you don't have it in there. You're going to click on look for another app on this PC. It's going to open up a window. And if you look in your program files, it's not going to show. That's going to be the default that will open up. It's not going to show up in here. You can see under R, there's no the nothing for Silhouette Studio. So you're just going to go up and click on here. And you're going to go to Program Files with the X86 in parentheses. When you scroll down, you'll see Silhouette America. Just double click on that. Then you're going to double click on Silhouette Studio. And then double click on the application at the bottom. And you'll see the icon next to it. So you can double click on that or you can go ahead and click open. And then it's going to open up in Silhouette Studio for you. Okay. And to make sure that this sticks, you're going to go back through and do choose another app. Click on Silhouette Studio. It should be showing up in here now. Check the box. Click OK. Now your icon, it's going to open up again. But now your icon is going to change to this. So when you go to other SVG files, you should see that Silhouette Studio SVG file is your default. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to bring it back to the same file we were at in this folder here. I'm going to change this so you see it to Google Chrome. Okay, I just had to go change a few things around. So if your default browser is Chrome, an SVG file will actually look like this. And it will say Chrome HTML document. And if you double click on it, again, it will actually open up in Chrome, which we don't want. So you're going to go through the same process and you're going to right click and here we're going to go ahead and open it up with Inkscape. We're going to go open with and I have Inkscape right here. So you can either click on that and it will open up or go choose another app. Click on Inkscape and click always use this app to open up SVG files. Or we can go through the same process if it's not there and go to look for another app on this PC, it's going to take you back here. In this case, Inkscape is here. Double click on the folder and then you're going to actually want to click on the Inkscape application, which is right here. Make sure you don't click on Ink View and you click on Inkscape. And then you either double click on that or you click on Open. It's going to go ahead and open your file and you'll see it there in Inkscape. And to make sure it sets, you just go back to choose another application. It's going to default as Inkscape, all right, and go from there. 
So now I'm going to go ahead. Okay. Design space, it's going to be the same process regardless of what your icon is. So I just switched it back to Internet Explorer as the default. You're just going to click on Upload. Click on Upload Image. Click on Browse. And you can see this Internet Explorer icon here. Click on that and just click Open. Okay. And it's going to show your file and you can click Save. Will also work if it is a Chrome in file. So now you can see it's the Chrome file. Click on that, click open, and there you go. And you click on save, and you can go ahead and open it up as you see fit. I did that a few times just to make sure that it worked. And that's all you have to it. You should be able to set your default to whatever you want it to be. And I choose Inkscape because that's where I convert all my files. Pretty simple. So um, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop me a line below. Hopefully this will help you. And if you like this video, feel free to go ahead and click subscribe down below as I post a lot of these tutorials to make sure that you're successful in your crafting journey. I hope everybody has a great night.